What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cigar Ralphie. Sorry for the non-upload week. I haven't uploaded in like a couple of days, man. It's been crazy. I've been like real busy doing stuff at, you know, work transitioning and all that good stuff. And it's just been getting really crazy. So, but, uh, just wanted to shoot this video real quick, man. I saw, I saw this, this is a click to Houston. I guess it's a Houston, uh, Houston paper or whatever, you know, on, online. Um, and of course, as we all know, we see Trump over here with a Native American uh, from the Marine Corps. From the uh, uh, I don't know. I don't want. I'm not going to say he uh, he's honoring Native Americans uh, in the military for doing that. Uh, I don't know if it was the wind talking ones or whatever it was the Native Americans that did that. Did something to help us win the war? I'm horrible history, but anyway. Uh, it says here, Trump honors Native Americans in front of Andrew Jackson portrait. Okay. Now, why is that uh, important is, uh, you know, Andrew Jackson. Well, I'm going to read the article to you so we know. Now, of course, I'm doing this video because there's something behind it. Uh, I'm looking on Twitter and stuff and just all over social media. And, you know, social media gives people that power to just be either... It's a, it could be good, but I like mostly it gives people the power to be just dumb. <laughs> so people are getting offended over that, over the fact that he, there's an Andrew Jackson portrait and the fact that the president said Pocahontas. Now, let me read some. President Donald Trump held an event honoring Navajo veterans while standing in front of an image of Andrew Jackson. The president who signed legislation in 1830 that allowed the federal government to remove Native Americans from their land. Andrew Jackson, not Donald Trump. So let's not find something else to tweet about. The Indian Removal Act resulted in Native Americans' forcible removal of their turn uh, and in turn the Trail of Tears, where roughly 17,000 Cherokees were forced out of Georgia at gunpoint and moved to present-day Oklahoma. Thousands of Cherokees died on the journey. The event on Monday, which was to honor Navajo code talkers, also result, resulted in criticism of the president when Trump made a comment referencing a nickname he has he has assigned to Senator Elizabeth Warren, D. Massachusetts, Pocahontas. If you know who Elizabeth Warren is, look her up. She's uh, the senator who's she was like, oh, I'm Native American, blah, 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 just to jump on the bandwagon. I don't know if she is. I don't think she is. I think she just, if she uses it, it's just to get, uh, is just to get some benefits, um, you know, go to college and stuff like that. Um, I don't think she is. She's just jumping on the bandwagon also to get votes. Oh, she's a minority. Oh, my God. You know, it's one of those things. You know what I'm saying? So, in this day and age, those tribal nations still battle the sensitive references to our people. The prejudice that Native American people face is an unfortunate historical legacy, said a statement by Navajo Nation President Bo uh, Russell, Russell B. Gay. As Native Americans, we are proud people who have taken care of this land long before the United States of America, and we will continue to fight for this nation. The National Congress of American Indians, the largest and oldest group representing Native Americans, has condemned Trump's use of Pocahontas to deride Warren, noting that the famed Native American was a real person whose historic significance is still important to her tribe, the Pumanque Indian tribe in Virginia. I don't believe that it is appropriate to use a racial slur. Now, okay, let me stop right there. Uh, first of all, I don't know how Pocahontas is a racial slur, but whatever, I guess. I mean, she's a real person. Pocahontas was a real person. Apparently, a beautiful, very, very beautiful person named Disney used her to make a cartoon. So they made a cartoon. If Disney made a cartoon about you, you're important. So Disney made a cartoon about her. Um... I don't know how it's a racial slur close, but I like if I was a female and they called me Pocahontas, I'd be honored. Like, yes, yes, I am. You know, like people are finding anything to be to find racially uh, charged. Anything, anything. Oh, why are you using a black book? Why do you have white pages? You know, like is they, they're finding any reason to find anything racially charged. You know what I'm saying? They're living in misery. They like putting themselves. Uh, in misery, just constantly, just constantly thinking that somebody's always racially profiling you, or that you're that there's some kind of racial slur being thrown at you. That's putting yourself in misery. You're 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 doing yourself an injustice, an injustice. Excuse me. Um, 
mentally and spiritually, man. Thinking somebody's always out to get you that, you know, the big, bad racial boogeyman is out there. You know what I mean? Um, Pocahontas, come on. Um, shit. <sighs> now, uh, I'm not going to read the rest, but... Um, so, also, another thing, besides racially being fucking, you know, racially downgrading yourself... Um, the, the, those, like, the person who wrote this, you know, is one of those, I guess you call them blue pill, hardcore leftist people that's offended by everything, especially everything that President Trump says. Um, so, I mean, really, me personally, I, you know, I just can't find, I, I'm still trying, I'm, I'm still trying to get offended and I can't, um, I don't know. But it actually, what offends me is people getting offended. So, also, uh, damn, what the hell was like? Oh, yeah. Um, I see a lot of other races, Hispanics, black, uh, white, everybody else getting offended for them. And I haven't heard the people who were honored saying anything. Now, when they go, hey, man, this bothered me that there was a picture of, you know, uh, um, President Jackson behind me. They would be like, oh, well, you know, okay. You know what I mean? They haven't gotten offended, but other people are getting offended for them. It's getting to the point where we're getting offended for other people. You know what I'm saying? When it's not even, has, it doesn't even have to do anything with us. We're not Indian. I'm not Indian. I'm not American Indian. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm Hispanic. Um, I'm not American Indian, so I'm not going to sit here and get offended for them. Uh, if it offends them, then I'll be like, yo, that offends them. You know, don't, you know what I'm saying? Let's try not to do that. But they didn't say nothing. Now, this guy got offended or gets offended for Pocahontas. I don't really know too many people get offended when they call Pocahontas. I don't... You know what I'm saying? Uh, but um, the 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 thing I find it funny is uh, uh, President Jackson, you know, he's on a $20 bill. If it offends you that much, whenever you get a $20 bill, throw it out or give it back. Don't, don't use $20 bills. But... I don't see anybody getting offended when they go to the ATM to take out a bunch of 20s and use them to buy shit. You know what I mean? So it's not really that offensive. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know, man. It's, it's just ridiculous, man. Like, people, it's getting to the point, man. We're going to, we, we're, we're our own downfall. We're going to be our own downfall, man. Instead of just like, you know what I mean? I'm not saying you have to accept everything because that would, that'd be crazy. But at the same time, it's like, you know, we live in a day and age where we're just finding the trail of tears. Look at this, this trail of tears now. Uh, trail of people offended off of anything. We're finding anything to get offended over. You realize that? Anything. Everything offends us. You know what I mean? Um, not me personally. It's hard to offend me. I mean, I don't know. I, if you insult my kids, yeah, I'm going to get mad. You know, you, you mess with my family, I'm going to get upset. But, you know, if you say, oh, uh, I don't know, eat tacos. It was, for some reason, they think all Spanish people eat tacos. That's, tacos is not from my country, but whatever. Um, I will eat tacos, actually. I'm going to probably go to uh, Tijuana Flats. Um, but, I mean, I don't know, man. These people, you, y'all, y'all, you're getting way too sensitive, man. Y'all got to man up. Man up. And if you get offended by me saying man up, I don't care. You you have to man up, man. Like, damn. You know, there's other things to worry about. There's people starving in the world. You know, there's, there's, there's things that, you know, there's people sick in the world. You know, we got to help each other. There's things going on with the environment. You know what I mean? Um, and we got to fix. There's animals being uh, massacred that, you know, are uh, going extinct. Let's fix that. You know, um, the kind of, you know, financial things we got to fix. You know, let's get creating. Let's get together and start creating shit to make us better. You know what I mean? Flying cars. Where's the flying car? I want a flying car. Damn. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, man. I'll see y'all in the next smoke.